Hey, I'd like to share something with you today. How to clean a vintage um, doilies, uh, specifically white. Um, you can try this on the cream colored ones, but there's some items I'm gonna show you that you would only use on the white. I purchased these in a bag at a secondhand store, all separate. These are, somebody was making these to make it, I don't know what they were gonna make with it, but I'm going to use it for a, a baby christening blessing blanket for a grandchild. And I thought these were beautiful, handmade. They're very, very, very well done, beautiful. Um, and there's enough to make a blanket out of. I'm going to have to rearrange some of the squares. But they're beautiful, And but they were very dirty. The person who was seaming them together, there was a lot of grime on the seams. And there was some red punch stains or some kind of drink stains. And then... This corner over here, which I actually have an extra white one, which I'm going to put there, has some little rust. It was very rusty. Now, I wish I had done it before. I, this always happens to me. I get in the middle of a project and think, oh, that would make a great blog or a video. So um, this one, as you can see, hopefully, it has some a little rust stains on it. Now I could use it if I needed to on a corner or something, but I don't think I'm going to. What I think I'm going to do is make a head bow out of the center rose rosette and make it match um, the blanket. So I think that's what I'm going to do because this one is very stained and I have an extra one anyway. But I just want to share with you what I did to clean this and how I cleaned it. My very favorite thing that I use for almost every single stain that I have is the Zout. I, it, in, back in the day, they would sell it concentrated in a squeeze bottle, but nowadays it comes packaged more like this with more water and it's not as concentrated. So you have to use a little bit more if it's a very, very bad stain. But look, stain gone guaranteed is absolute truth. I have a wool carpet and I have gotten fingernail polish. Uh, a huge jar of blueberry stains, red burgundy paint from my walls, rust stains, grass stains, popsicle stains, red Kool-Aid stains. It's fabulous. Works on pretty much everything. Um, also, um, I used Woolite on this specifically because it is older. Um, there are a few faint pink stains still, but I think if I rubbed it a little more, they would have come out, but I didn't want to fray the fabric because you couldn't see them at that point very well, even if you were staring at it. I can't find them. I think one was right there, but it wasn't enough to make me want to wear it and stretch the fabric and the, the crochet out. So um, basically, I uh, used the Zout on the, the darker stains where the, the, there was dirt on the, the lines where they seamed it. And on the, the edges, I also used it on the rust and any red stains that were on some of the squares. Um, so I just squirt it on um, straight and then add just a tad of water and then just scrub it together, the fabrics together, kind of like this. I don't use a, a scrubbing, like a pulling motion or twisting motion at all. I just, a basic rub. Um, only where I take the dirty areas together and then scrub it like this. Then, um, if it still hasn't come out, I try a little bit more as out and then I use a fingernail. So I take a longer fingernail that I have and I go like this on it and then try and get it in the, in the creases. And that's why I think this one came out so well as most of it I did. If I worked on it a little bit more, I might be able to get the rest of the rust out with this out. But like I said, it was looking good and I had an extra square anyway. So I wasn't too worried about that one particular square that was looking bad. Then, as overall, to clean all of it in general, I put it in a, a sink full of wool light. Clean the sink first because dirt on the sink will actually bleed onto the fabric that you're cleaning. Um, if it's delicate, you, you want to be sure you don't have anything dirty and grimy or, or uh, soaps come in the sink. So clean the sink first. Um, I use Comet. gets pretty much everything off. Then I soak it in the wool light for just a little while, depending on how dirty it is. And I let this, the wool light just kind of soak in. And then I do a gentle wash, kind of a rub, very gently. Um, anything like this, I would never put in the, in the washing machine. Um, just to be safe. And then once I've got a general clean, once I've, I, cause I always do the stains first and then I do a gentle clean. And then, um, if I have stains that have not come out and it's a dire thing, like on the front of a skirt or something that you couldn't really cover it up, 
I will go to this product. I use it on everything in the house. It's the Totally Awesome Cleaner from the dollar store. It's as seen on TV. They've got several different kinds of products. But this can take out color. If, if it was a colored item and you know it's stained and gone for good, then I would use this Totally Awesome Cleaner um, on top of the Zout or the Woolite to try and get it out. And if... If I use my fingernail, 9 out of 10 times I can get the entire stain out using that combination. Sometimes if those, those, those ones don't work, I'll use some of the Totally Awesome Oxygen Powder that you can get at the dollar store um, for that. If the item is white and I have not been able to get out what I want, um, I put... So I had this one still and, and a few little light pink ones. So after I rinsed all of the soap out, all of the woolite out, and had it a good, good clean rinse, I re refilled the sink, and then I poured in uh, half a bottle of hydrogen peroxide once the sink was full of water. So fill the water, rinse this all, fill the sink again, have this all underwater. You don't want to have any sticking out because the peroxide will lighten it. So only use this on white um, because it will bleach other colored fabrics. So um, just because this was white and I knew these weren't going to fade very much in the amount of time and the, the amount of concentration. So this is a 3% peroxide from Walmart or any grocery store. And so basically fill the sink with water, pour in a quarter of this to a half of this, depending on how white you want it and how long you're going to soak it. I soaked it for about a half an hour in the peroxide. Um at about a quarter, oh gosh, because the sink was pretty full and I only used a quarter of that and it was quite a big sink. So maybe an eighth to, to the water of peroxide. And then I let it sit for an hour and then I rinsed the peroxide out. And you would be surprised that after I washed it and rinsed it, you would think all the dirt would be out. But when I put the peroxide in and let it soak for a little while, it was surprising how much water, uh, how much the water was dirty. Um, just getting the general dirt out from using the peroxide. So then I just hang it to dry. Um, I hang the, just hung, hung it over a plastic hanger. You don't want to hang it over anything, the wooden or anything like metal, because it can rust. And it also can, um, I have a wooden dry rack that's painted white and the, and the, the peroxide or whatever will make the paint come off of it and it will flake onto your item and maybe stain your item. So I only use plastic when I'm using um, the vintage things and anything that's been peroxided or whatever. So I just hung it over um, this. Um, I had it over two different hangers and then I just hang it off the shower hook so it's not touching any walls of the shower or the shower spigot and then um, let it dry um, just wringing it slightly. Um, some of these are a little warped a little bit from washing, but when I, um, uh, I'm going to gently iron it and then, um, once I've, but, and then I'll seam it to make the blanket that I want to make. But, um, that's how I clean, um, any, any item pretty much, except I, I'm very careful when I add the peroxide or the totally awesome cleaner because I don't want to, um, take out the color. If I have take if I've done everything I can and I can't get the stain out and you don't care that you're bleaching the entire thing you can then bleach the entire product the whole thing and then try and bleach it lighter so if you've got a stain on a t-shirt say and you've tried everything you can't get it out then you can try the totally awesome cleaner and if it bleaches it a little bit then you can just put peroxide in the whole thing and see if you can even the color out and maybe just make it look like a washed look. So there is that is a final solution if you cannot in any way get it to be the stain out before you end up throwing the item away. So uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks for watching and have a oh check out my blog, thesecretisgratitude.com, and I will actually uh, take pictures of, of this and um, hopefully have a finished <laughs> picture at some point. I'm not working on it anytime in the few next few weeks. I have a lot going on, but um, you can just type in cleaning lace or cleaning vintage, and up will come this the pictures and more description on this particular post so thanks for watching and have a blessed day